Hello, my friends, and welcome to another Amazon product review. Today, we are checking out a multi-tool. This is uh, from the Brave Edge company. Um, this one is a multi-tool axe, if we can uh, get that open there. So multi-tools came out a while ago. Um, I'm not sure. I how long ago it's been but i guess the uh, swiss army knife was the original multi-tool and since then there's been a lot of different additions so on top it has a warranty a uh, lifetime warranty 100 percent money back or exchange guarantee within 30 days if you're not satisfied so warranty that's pretty cool and let's check it out here so first off is appears to be a nice uh nylon uh, pouch here we have a extra wide um, belt loop it seems uh, pretty sturdy there okay this is held in with some strong uh, velcro or oh, what is it called now i forget so i think the dimensions here this is uh almost one pound it's 14.8 ounces but it feels like uh, pretty solid there like like uh, pretty pretty hefty in your hand um let's see if we have something we can use this on all right we have a piece of paper and the axe comes with this little uh sheath cover on there which is uh pretty important but you can see that's just a solid uh, chunk of metal there and if I'm not mistaken that bad boy is quite sharp um, here we have a, a postcard here and it slices that up uh, pretty decently actually for for a an axe and then also we have a hammerhead here okay so the hammer portion this uh, part folds out and what we have is um, these screwdrivers little it's kind of new so it's a little bit difficult to get these out of there and they actually just I'm sorry they they don't come out that way they come out the back and you stick them in the top here like that and that's your uh, screwdriver like that just make sure well make sure you put your um, cover back on there because that axe is no joke it uh well i just i just barely touched like scrape my uh, knuckle there we're okay we're okay we're gonna survive so this has a little magnet here too a little neodyne magnet looks like that holds that into place so it's not going to come out like that okay and that just slides back in there just like that and then you have whoa where did that go I know it went somewhere, but I can't tell. I didn't hear it land on my floor. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it's popped out of there. So all these, you have a Phillips head and a flat head um, screwdriver. There are two Phillips heads. One's a little bit bigger than the other one, and then that just rotates and fits in there like that so that's cool all right next um is we have several different blades here we have a uh, can opener for different sizes so that one's it just grips on the can and you can just cut through the can with that so that's that's handy for sure for like camping and stuff like that um, here we have a knife blade Careful, very careful with the knives, guys. And that is rather sharp as well. Had my little cover fall off there. Get that back on there. Okay. Oh my gosh. Here is another one. So this one has um, several little tools here. So you can get, uh, if you have like a, some kind of a um, 
a hexagon um, nut, you can put that on there and use that as a wrench. Also, um, perhaps you can use this portion here as uh, to take a nail out or something like that or pop it out. So that's another little tool there. So we have the big blade, that, and then we have another one, which just features a file. There's two different types of files. Looks like you just got a straight um, one and then a cross section one and then a flathead screwdriver up there as well. So you can use that. Um, yeah, so a few handy little tools there. And we are going to go demonstrate all of them and show you how well it works. So that's that. And we're going to go uh, go out in the garage and see what this baby can really do. All right, friends, we're going to be testing out several of these uh, different um, items on here. First off, we're going to start with the axe. So in case you're wondering just how sharp this is, this axe is just this really thick cardboard here. It just goes through it like butter. Um, also, on the side here, you can split, split kindling wood or something like that. So, it does a nice job of uh, splitting stuff like that, and you can just... Uh, really just chop away on some wood too if you want to so it's very sharp so just be careful it has this little um, a sheath to put on there okay next we have the hammer portion and we have a nail here and you just drive it in there if I could drive it straight you could hammer on your nail Yeah, this is very hard wood. It's been sitting out in my garage for quite a while. Okay. We have, oh, I actually nailed it into that. That's why I was going in so hard. Okay, we have the screwdriver also. And this comes with several different, uh, a smaller Phillips head bit and a bigger one. And then it also has a... Uh, A flathead too so that works well for just see that just screwing that in there just like that and I would think like the axe would kind of get in the way but it doesn't really because this protrudes out more than that so not really a problem with that you can also use uh, these have little magnets in them that kind of holds it in place and we can use our um, flathead one also just puts it in this bit in the top there. It has a little magnet in there as well that holds that, so that's kind of nice. So this is a flathead one. And like I said, this wood's really hard. Just hardened um, wood. It's been out in my garage for a long time here, so. Ideally, if I get this started, Yeah, we could screw it in there. And just like that. Looks pretty good. This one's uh this screw's not the best. I don't like if you have a chance anyways, uh flatheads um are definitely Phillips heads definitely stay in there better. Um what else is it gonna go with? Let's see, this one has the uh, also the hexagonal uh, head on there. We can use that to uh, screw it in, I believe. Oh, this one's probably metric, or the other one is uh, different sizes or whatever. I'm not sure exactly what this one is for here. Possibly for... I'm not exactly sure on that. Okay, and then the knife we have also. It's a super sharp piece of paper here cuts it like no problem 
very sharp. Just be careful with that, guys. And I get to get also this uh, hatchet blade is super sharp as well. I mean, it's cut right through there. So just be really careful with that. It's easy to cut yourself. Um, here we have a file on the side. One's uh, double and one's single as far as that. So you can use that to probably file your nails if you want or some other little thing in want to use that with. Not sure exactly why you'd use that file too much, but it is on there. And least but not last, we have the can opener. So if you want to open your can, you're out camping or something, just get that under there. And yeah, this thing is super sharp. And basically you just hook that part under the lip of the can and just kind of move your way around. This is actually the, uh, takes a little bit of technique. But you just kind of work your way around just like that. Cuts through that can, no problem. It's really sharp. So as you guys can see, it's a pretty handy tool here. Um, it's not the biggest thing too. It's pretty small, fits right in your hand. Um, so I put this on my belt before and it's not really in the way, but something like this, you keep in your truck or your car kind of on the side if you need it, or if you go camping, throw it in the backpack, something like that. And you can still wear it on your hip. Um, but yeah, so this is just a few of the things that this thing could do. All right. We're going to go on to the final review. Okay, Brent. So all in all. This is a pretty handy little uh, multi-tool. Um, something to keep in your truck, perhaps, or uh, just keep it on you in your belt. Um, the hammer worked uh, pretty good. Um, obviously, it's not something you're gonna do all day. You know, if you're doing a construction project, you're gonna want a regular hammer for hammering, if that's just the, um, the sole purpose of it. But it does uh, multiple jobs quite well. And it's uh, pretty pretty sturdy. Um, the axe is really sharp, and all in all, um, not a bad little multi tool, guys. Just for for something handy to have with you. I don't know how many times I need to like a screwdriver or something like that. So I really like that aspect of having these um, ability to use it as a screwdriver or whatever, and a sharp knife and little axe and everything. So. Pretty cool little um, gift idea here, something like that for the outdoor adventurer. Never know if you're going camping or something like that, that this would come in handy. So, all right, thanks for watching this review, guys. If you want to check this item out, I'll link it in the description below. And uh, uh, it's on Amazon there. So we'll see you guys next time. Have a great day.